We'll stay on the energy sector. Renewable natural gas company Opal Fuels is planning to go public via SPAC deal with Arclight Clean Energy. Here to discuss that and RNG production is Adam Kimura, Opal Fuels co-CEO. Adam, thank you so much for your time today. If you can just, first of all, just give us a lay of the land, explain to us how is natural gas created? I know it uses methane gas. Yeah, exactly. What we do is uh, we take harmful methane emissions that we capture at landfills and dairy digester and dairies from cow manure, and we clean up that gas and turn it into a renewable transportation fuel for the class eight heavy duty fleet market. So Adam, I, I think it's awesome what you're doing and it and it should over the long term make a have a big impact on our environment. I know for a long time uh, you've been doing this um, in other areas. Um, but what does this mean now to to the tr to transportation fuel? Because I know that you've been doing it with renewable electricity for a while. And how are you getting companies to agree? to jump on board? Because a lot of these transportation companies are older companies who've been doing it the old way forever. Yeah, great questions. And uh, we have been doing this for a long period of time. We've been in the renewable natural gas business for over 20 years, taking that landfill gas and turning it into renewable electricity. And six, seven, eight years ago, we started thinking about higher, better use of those renewable natural gas assets and have been uh, in the midst of converting those power projects into renewable natural gas that we can then use as a transportation fuel. Uh, and, um, and we do that by building renewable natural gas fueling stations around the country. We've built 350 so far. Uh, UPS is our largest customer where we've built 50 stations for them and have over uh, 5,000 of their class A trucks fueling at stations uh, uh, that we operate for them. And um, really we're getting people on board because it is an extremely rare product and solution where companies can both save money and uh, dramatically reduce their carbon emissions. So we're really excited about it. It's a proven technology. There's over 60,000 of these trucks on the road today. And um, you know, we, when you read a Bill Gates book and everybody talks about the green premium and convincing people, this is actually a green discount product. So uh, we're really excited about the prospects and um, actually are seeing a lot more interest coming from uh, numerous uh, large logis logistics and, and trucking firms. And how uh, instrumental was President Biden and his Build Back Better plan in, you know, leading the charge and making people more aware and more interested in your type of product? Uh, well, certainly capturing harmful methane emissions has gotten more attention recently, and uh, we're grateful for it. It's the single most important thing we can do uh, to halt climate change. The second biggest issue is reducing emissions from the transportation sector. So really excited that this product uh, uh, can, can hit both of those head on. Um, the Build Back Better plan has a, has a few features to it, um, which, uh, which may uh, help increase uh, adoption. Um, one is uh, uh, an investment tax credit around uh, the capital expenditures when we build these facilities. Um, we can also take our renewable natural gas and create a low carbon intensity hydrogen. And we've got a couple of, of, uh, of, of agreements in place, strategic agreements, where we will be supplying renewable natural gas to lower the carbon intensity of hydrogen. Uh, so um, if that gets passed as well, that could be uh, an, a new end market for us for our renewable natural gas. Um, but um, you know, it's not just the Biden administration. We're really seeing this trend uh, across the globe and, and finding new end markets as well internationally. So uh, we're, we're uh, terrifically suited to decarbonize transportation here in the US. Uh, and at the same time, there are other end markets uh, growing as well, uh, either supported in this Biden uh, Build Back Better plan or across the, uh, across the globe. Adam, give us a feel for cost, uh, cost of renewable natural gas as compared to other sources. Well, fossil natural gas would be uh, a little bit cheaper to produce than uh, what we're doing uh, from our renewable natural gas. I, you know, it's, it's pretty interesting, though. Uh, a lot of people, when, when they think about the cost of fossil natural gas, they're not thinking about the indirect costs that they're, that they're causing by the climate change. So that doesn't necessarily get included in their cost of operations, but it does show up in, in the rest of the global economy with the issues that are being caused from it. So um, although uh, our, our direct operating costs are a little bit higher than fossil natural gas, when you factor in uh, uh, all the emissions uh, and, and, and lower carbon intensity that, that, that comes with our product, I would think the full life cycle of our cost is actually not as great as, as the emissions caused by, by some of those other fossil fuels. And then, Adam, I want to ask you, what percentage do you think uh, of energy use in the U.S. is 
is RNG? How much does it account for? And then what growth do you anticipate going forward into next year, let's say? Yeah, so um, uh, right now uh, it is it is uh, a drop in the bucket, so to speak, of, of total energy production and, and usage in the um, in the U.S. We produce, oh, we think about ourselves in the uh, diesel uh, heavy duty transportation fuel market, and that's about a 45 billion gallon uh, a market year. And, and renewable natural gas is maybe accounting for about 500 million gallons. Uh, so we still have a ways to go. And uh, we're really excited that, um, uh, you know, there's plenty of uh, uh, new landfills to convert, uh, uh, renewable electricity projects to convert, and new sources of biogas as well. Um, uh, ultimately, we think, uh, you know, we can increase production uh, 10, 20 fold from where we are today. All right. Well, it's definitely the fuel of the future. Adam Kimura, Opal Fuels co-CEO. Thank you so much for your time today.